Hello everyone, Ravi here from Lama Index. Welcome to another uh, tutorial video in uh, Agent Tutorial video series. So in this uh, video, we'll look into Retrieval Augmented Function Calling Agent. Earlier we'll uh, have seen on uh, using React Agent and Function Calling Agent uh, with uh, uh, simple calculator tools and uh, RAG Query Engine tools, right? So there the number of tools are limited, probably three or four uh, tools and then prob and then rack query engine tools are two or three right so the number of tools are very uh, less so uh, and then but then in real world there may be uh, like 50 or 100 number of 100 tools right and then uh, if you want to select one of these tools probably you need to include all the uh, description of uh, each and every tool into the prompt and the llm will select one of these tools and call the specific function and uh, obtain the result and uh, iterate over it right uh, this might uh, add latency as well as cost rather than that of 100 tools probably you retrieve only two tools and use those two tools to compute your uh, user task or user query right so uh, these are done uh, based on the uh, retrieval process which is uh, using the embeddings so by taking the description and uh, and the name of the tools uh, using the embeddings uh, for the user query it will retrieve the correct uh, tools based on the embeddings and then use those uh, two or three tools uh, based on the similarity top k value that you have provided and uh, generate a response accordingly so this is the process we will follow uh, we'll uh, look into how you can use that so I uh, will uh, go with uh, calculator tools. What we do is uh, we'll use the same uh, multiply and add and subtract tools, but we'll define some uh, uh, useless uh, function along with it and rep uh, just replicate useless function like uh, 50 times. And then so uh, here we have 50 plus 3, 53 tools in, uh, in total, right? And uh, I have this all tools in it, one it and by default it uses open embeddings um, and we'll create object index so uh, what is uh, object index does is uh, um, it's like a vector store index uh, uses all these tools uh, whatever we have defined over here and uh, during uh, the function calling uh, purposes like the uh, function calling agent uh, we define tool retriever so using this uh, whatever uh, tools that are def uh, retrieved during the querying stage uh, the function calling agent worker uses only those tools and then uh, computes a task right so let's see like um, one of the queries what's 500 multiplied by 10 right so uh, here we'll see so first it used multiply uh, and then got the response right and let's say uh, what's 500 multiplied by 10 and then subtract 1000 so here it used to uh, multiply and then subtract so that's how it retrieved two tools but uh, but then uh, used multiply tool and subtract tool to generate a response accordingly uh, so let's see uh, with sonnet as well anthropic sonnet uh, we'll define um, the function calling with the tool retriever and uh, compute the same uh, queries again. So here we have multiply and then again multiply and subtract uh, so 4000. So even there are 53 tools available I use only these two tools to uh, complete the task next we'll go with mistral ai uh, mistral llms and then see uh, if it's working as expected yeah so here uh, same way uh, it used multiply tool for the first one and then multiply and addition uh, subtraction sorry uh, to uh, get the response next we'll do the same with uh, rag uh, in query engine tools as well uh, in a similar way, we'll uh, uh, use uh, lift and uber 2021 uh, 10k scc filings uh, 
uh, create index, load the data and create index and then query engines. Um, so, and then we'll even um, define the tools on top of that, uh, create the object index and then uh, create a retriever on top of it. We'll just uh, retrieve only one of these tools of the two tools and then ask uh, uh, simple queries over it. Um, still loading the data. Yeah, obviously this will take probably a minute or two um, because of a huge number of pages in each document, like 300 plus. And uh, should be done uh, in some time. Yeah, it's mostly done. And then we'll create the query engines and then the tools and then the object index right and then we'll have uh, this tool retriever in uh, function calling agent worker and then define the function calling agent uh, here and then we'll have a simple query what is the revenue of uber in 2021 uh, it should ideally use uber um, uh, tool right yeah so the revenue of uber is 2021 was um, 17.5 billion approximately so we can ask similar query for lift as well so so it retrieved a uh, lift query engine tool and then uh, gave the response let's try the same thing with uh, anthropic as well so we defined the tool retriever here and a agent here and then similar queries here as well so so yeah uh, it provides the right result here for both the uh, Uber and Lyft, right? Next, let's try with Mistral AI. All the queries. Uh, we have provided the tool retriever here uh, for the function calling agent. And yeah, uh, it called Uber uh, 10K CC filings tool and got the response. And then for Lyft, it's Lyft 10K CC filings tool. Uh, got the response so this way if you have a large number of tools you can use um, uh, the object index and tool retriever abstractions um, uh, with the function calling agent so that you retrieve some of these available tools for the given uh, user query or the task and use those two uh, specific tools retrieve tools uh, to com complete the user task so that's how uh, you can use a retrieval augmented function calling agent you can uh, use a similar uh, way uh, with react agent as well uh, do experiment with that um, if you are curious about it uh, with the react agent and check out the notebook um, we'll meet in the next video thank you